Namaste and thank you so much for staying tuned. This is Lifestyle with Chinese Versatile. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do because I really would like for you to follow up and follow us on what this channel is all about. Okay, so we'll dive right into today's um, episode. So basically, we're shifting focus and focusing more on um, lifestyle tips and lifestyle related issues. Now, why am I doing this? I'm doing this mostly because we have focused much on um, single parenting related um, issues. And I think it's about time that we took a breather. So today um, I'll be talking about breathing. Yeah, so what is breathing? Why exactly do we need to breathe? Why do we need to breathe? Why, I mean, you breathe every day, but why do you have to breathe? Or what is breathing? Or how best can you breathe? Are there techniques for breathing? All of these will be um, taken care of in this series. Yes, I tell you it's a series because I'll be showing you not only the theories, but also the practical ways on how best to breathe. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, so breathing is the taking in of oxygen into the body and breathing out carbon dioxide, right? Okay, so you could simply say breathing basically is the exchange of air in and out of the body. Okay, so you're breathing oxygen as a human and you breathe out carbon dioxide, right? You remember your secondary school days, good student. Okay, so, but plants actually breathe alternatively, meaning that plants breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. And that's why that's the oxygen that we take into our bodies. Of course, it's always advisable to have plants around your environment or, or even trees, plant trees. You hear that a lot these days. Plant trees, not only to save the, um, the climate and all of that, but also for your own personal well-being. So that you can breathe in good air okay so now there are actually different modes of breathing so basically when during inhalation that's when you breathe in your lungs expand and then when you breathe out your lungs decrease okay so it either increases or decreases so it, that's actually the, the the thing that happens while you breathe okay during inhalation your lungs expand and oxygen diffuses into your lungs and into your bloodstream while when you exhale air is expelled and your lungs decrease is that understandable i believe it is the four major modes of breathing are eupnea hypapnea coastal breathing and diaphragmatic breathing okay i'm sure you got it coastal breathing diaphragmatic breathing eupnea hypapnea types of breathing okay so now we'll delve into it so basically eupnea is the quiet type of breathing you're not applying so much stress whatsoever while you breathe okay it does not require any thoughts okay like you're not putting any thoughts or any focus to your breathing that is eupnea okay now i'll go to diaphragmatic uh, breathing diaphragmatic breathing is deep breathing so it could be also that and now in this case you're breathing deeply into your lungs and of course most times into your belly so it seems as though you're breathing into your belly all right so this is um the type of breathing you do when you are trying to focus um on your breath so while you do the diaph diaphragmatic kind of breathing your your diaphragm relaxes when you're breathing out and then your diaphragm contracts while you're breathing in so it's something like this now your diaphragm is contracting as you're breathing out, right? And then your diaphragm is relaxed while you expel air. It's that simple. So basically you just take it, eupnea, quiet breathing, diaphragmatic breathing is deep breathing, okay? So hypapnea, or also known as forced breathing, is the type of breathing that you do when the muscles are manipulated. You find this type of breathing during exercises or when you put your, your muscles into some active manipulation. So when you're active, you know that kind of breathing, that heavy breathing you do, probably when you've taken a run or maybe you've actually done a lot of stretch that has really impacted on your body. Yes, that's the kind of breathing and that is hypapnea, also known as forced breathing okay now this type of breathing affects all of your muscles both your intercostal your accessory muscles and your diaphragms are all impacted because they all contract so this is hypopnea and costal breathing also known as shallow breathing is the type of breathing that actually contracts the intercostal muscles all right so this breathing is shallow and so it's not same as the deep breathing Okay, so basically these are the type of breathings um, or modes of breathing or modes of breath that we actually do have. And I'm sure if you think back or put mind to it, you realize that you've actually had to breathe in this way at one point in time or the other. But then again, are there any um, 
techniques to actually breathing. You know, when you have a situation where you're told, okay, breathing. And I remember in primary school when we're told that at um, in classes or at exercises, PE class and all, you're always still breathing and everybody does. Okay, so there is a technique to actually breathing. And in the next videos that will come, um, I'll be sharing with you how best to breathe and all the various techniques of breathing that we have or that are out there. Some of them have been scientifically proven and have been used to ease stress. Now, talking about stress, did you know that breathing actually helps you ease tension, ease stress, and just makes you more relaxed? And funny enough, when you breathe well, you actually sleep faster. You didn't know that, right? I know. Okay, want to feel a lot calmer, relaxed, and be able to concentrate and possibly sleep faster? Well, I'll share the tip with you. I'll be leaving this tip with you right before this video ends. So basically, the best way to doing this and to achieving that calm sensation almost immediately is by extending your exhalation longer than your inhalation. How does this work? So basically, if you're going to do four counts in breathing in, then you do six counts in breathing out. And then you can alternate it. If you can do up to five counts breathing in, then you do seven counts breathing out. So this is basically how it goes. So I'm breathing in now. I'll be counting with my fingers while I breathe, okay? Now I'm breathing out. Now, this way, your body gets calmer, and of course, it helps you sleep faster, and of course, also, it helps you concentrate. Now, why exactly, or how does this work? Well, according to Christopher Bregland, um, he's actually an endurance athlete and coach. So basically, he says, this really helps. Now, how? You know, there's a vagus nerve connected from your brain stem to your colon. Now, this actually helps you, um, makes your heart beat, uh, actually beats faster. The vagus nerves actually regulate your heart beats. Okay, that's the nerve that connects from your brain stem to your colon. And it also sends information to the brain. So these vagus nerves actually feeds information to your organs and um, um, monitors the organs and as well feeds information to the brain. So it does that exchange. And as well, and also these vagus nerves happen to be the longest nerve in the body because of its connection from your brain stem to your colon. So of course you want to relax that nerve because it is it that helps to cause that calming sensation that you feel when you take in breaths. And of course, don't forget the tip is actually to make your exhalation longer than your inhalation. So I'm going to leave this tip with you in the following videos. Remember, I said this is more like a series because honestly, the world is so tense. We're also tense that we actually forget to breathe. So this is a reminder for you to breathe. And that's why this is titled Just Breathe. Just breathe. Okay, so let's get to it. Get to breathing and get to feeling good and feeling a lot calmer and calming those tense muscles. All right, so next video, I'll be sharing with you um, techniques, other techniques of breathing and their benefits. Okay, so namaste and have a lovely day.